Hello in episode 7, another big upgrade, and this one is gonna stay for a long time with me, but before that, I managed to get my first ancient essence, and I was so hella happy. However, I did not use it as of yet, and it's been like 4 days when I have it. I'm just waiting for my TF-85 weapon, which could be possible after this upgrade, by the way. But yeah, right now, straight to the upgrade. So what happened? is that I managed to drop my Legendary Lacrima. It took me around 25k Chaos Points. I don't know how many miss buttons that is, but it's a lot. And I dropped Mirror City one that I need, and another thing was, I got lucky that I rolled pretty good. one hand of weapon, gloves, and necklace. So, I went straight to get my Hamal Scepter. You can get this one just from shop. And if you create low level character, buying that stuff, that Scepter is gonna be so much cheaper. Only took me like a 100k gold or so. Yeah, just got uh, high enough rolls. I tested my damage before I started switching, so um, I, I am around like 8.3 build damage right now. I did get some upgrades, but they were not that meaningful to show on the... to do it on the YouTube. I did level up some link runes, I switched some stuff. Nothing too crazy, but this is damage before the... New Lacrima basically. With my Hamal Scepter I picked up Hands of Monarch. I just don't have anything better. And I was already running Hamal Harvest by the way. But I was looking for some good unique gloves. I didn't I didn't have anything so I had to use Hand of Monarch that I had in my compendium. I'm gonna switch those maybe to something else better but I highly doubt that. And of course I did some maps. I dropped some necklace base. 156 level, I went for Caprice. This was a fast craft, because what's, what I'm gonna do later, I'm probably gonna do double or triple authority necklace to my Lacrima, but this one was fast, and the more important thing, I got pretty good things on it. I got a lot of HP, which uh, makes maps much easier for me, and I don't have to worry about it, plus I might even be able to use Iron Will right now. At the same time, some call damage on the prefix, and I wanted the damage on hit, damage jump on hit. I got it, and I managed to roll even the skill cooldown recovery speed, which is recraftable. I did use some Vespers, I only did two of those. Didn't want anything too crazy, but this is gonna stay with me maybe for a few days at most, so why not? After that, what took me the most time was actually trying to recraft skill rune cooldown recovery speed into skill rune effect. And I used around like 15k mats. I was, I, I was regretting this decision that I did. But hey, I got it. It's not a high tier roll, but whatever. For now, it fits. Of course, after equipping it, I went straight in the training arena. This is the damage without the potions. I'm not using any potions in here. And I'm not doing any other shenanigans. This is just my simple base mapping damage right now. Without the potions, without the guild buffs. Yeah. So, it was around 4 build damage upgrade. A little bit more than 4 build. So, by comparison, it's like 50% damage jump just from equipping this stuff. It's crazy how much I got from this. And when I finish my neck, I think it's gonna be around 10 to 12% more. So yeah, really good upgrade, really good upgrade. So this is it for the episode 7. And I don't know how many more episodes I'm gonna do. I'm not planning to do too many, just because I'm gonna start grinding World of Warcraft on the side, the War Within expansion release. I find it so much more interesting than right now that I find on December, but I'm gonna try to upload at least like one episode a week if I find enough time to do it. But as of now, this is where I'm at. I was blasting 158 maps, but then I decreased it to 157 just because I want to save my time. Basically, after this craft, I only played it for like a few hours, so today, I'm gonna try to do 165 level serpents and I'm gonna try to drop that TF85 basis. But yeah, bye bye, have a nice day, and see you on the next one.